we are reminded that the hand that covers us is a hand that was once pierced on our behalf. Christ went to the cross for us to bear the penalty for our sins, and we who were united to him by faith receive the benefit of his salvation. We have our sins washed away. We have a new heart, a new nature. We have his righteousness clothing us before our Heavenly Father. So now, as we gather before the Lord, we remember his death and proclaim it till he comes in this communion meal. In this meal, we are reminded that we are joined to Christ by faith, and that we have all the benefits of life and of salvation in Him. And so as we take part in the bread and the cup, we are reminded that all of salvation comes through Christ. It is His work and His work alone that saves us. And His work is that which gives us grace for each day. As we take part in this communion meal, we should examine our own hearts and lives and see if there is sin that persists within us, that we are not repenting. We should daily repent of our sins and put them aside and walk with the Lord. If there is such sin which remains in your life and you are not willing to make a break with that sin, then you should not take part in the communion meal because you are not in communion with Christ. The meal is for those who are in fellowship with Him and with one another. And so as we approach the communion meal, let us confess our sins to the Lord, seek His pardon and forgiveness, and renew our commitments to Him, that we might serve Him with a living faith and advance His gospel throughout the earth in this day. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for this communion meal whereby we are reminded of Christ's death on our behalf. In the breaking of the bread and the pouring of the cup, we are reminded of his death and how he gave himself for us, that we might be nourished on his offering on our behalf, that we might be strengthened in faith and equipped to love and to serve you. We pray, O oh God, that you would bless our communion meal together. Forgive us for our many sins, our sins against you and our sins against one another. We pray that you would wash us and forgive us for all these things. And help us to live in holiness, to live righteous lives that please you, which reflect the righteousness of the salvation that we have in Christ. And so we thank you for this bread and cup. We pray that you would bless them to our hearts and our lives, strengthen us by grace, that we might live by the power of your Spirit. We ask for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The Apostle Paul wrote, I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let's remember the breaking of our Savior's body on our behalf as we eat this bread. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me.
Let's remember the shedding of our Savior's blood on our behalf as we drink from this cup. Jesus to pray to God in strong words, awake, awake, O arm of the Lord. Let's join our hearts and minds and pray that God will bring help and salvation for his people today. Thank you, O God, for your mercies to us, and we pray that you would encourage us to live for you, trusting in your provision of grace and praying to you in our time of need, praying with eagerness and zeal that your kingdom, your righteousness would advance in the earth. And so we pray for the work of the gospel in our congregation. We pray that your righteousness would more and more advance in our own personal lives, that we would more and more reflect uh, the beauties of your holiness, the glory of your righteousness. We pray for your help in that regard. We pray too that we would show forth the righteousness of Christ uh, to our community, and that many would receive the free gift of everlasting life through trusting in Christ. We pray for your blessing on the ministry of our church in that regard, that many would receive the gift of salvation through Jesus and us. We thank you for your mercies to us in our country. We pray for your provision for our needs. We would ask that you would teach us to pray, even as our Lord taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our final hymn reflects on that exhortation from Isaiah. Arm of the Lord, awake, awake. Hymn number 372. A hymn of missions, a hymn of of the advance of the gospel in the world today. Let's stand to sing.
And may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom we glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 